Fear Teddy. Yes, I know. Why he turns this again? Done. Well, um, moving on to some other things. What does the 3179 JGB, whatever the fuck, the baby maker, shrink ray weapon designation mean? That's coordinates to the Himalayas, as Ben said ages yep. ago, but he's not one to answer again because he gets very angry at questions now. Because <laughs> he doesn't like. Start re answering his fucking questions. He's getting asked questions which he just. He, he's in the age of just questions. Well, let's just, let's just say most of these it. questions have been answered. In the past, a lot. It's just like new many questions. Times, many, which, many times. Yeah, yeah, so there's there's no need to ask these questions again. I mean, it's just so that the people we clear these up, they're only short things, which is why we're making this video instead of like oh, one. Let's make this even shorter. Next question. Who controlled zombies initially before Richter and Samantha entered the What's Majigger? Oh, no one. God. Would you shut up and get into that? <laughs> you're all like, oh, this is awful. It's because you're in it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but at the same time. <laughs> but there's no one controlled the zombies before Rick Toffin and Samantha were uncontrolled, and then yes, um, that's what happened because obviously. Let's talk about what it definitely wasn't controlling them. Yes, the devil. let's the just devil. clear that up. And God, it God was. wasn't controlling them. Neither was Nelson Mandela or David Cameron no. or David Attenborough or David Attenborough. Even though he would be my choice. David. Yeah, Beck. all three. David Bowie. He's got two different coloured eyes, so that would work. David really Williams. Well. David Williams. So Wall. does Arlington. So does Arlington doesn't have two different coloured eyes. Yeah, the boy. he's got a tattoo on her face. <laughs> okay, it's just invisible. Great. What is Broken Arrow, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> what is Broken Arrow? Not Broken Mountain. Definition of nuclear weapon. It's the accidental death. Presumably the rocket from Moon. Yeah. Hope you're asking these questions and then you're answering, answering them, them yourself. I know, because I want to get through the is... one you did earlier. It's like, what's your favourite pug? Charlie's is Volshade, Ben's is Deadshot. <laughs> well, I wanted to get through them because Ben would just be like, <sighs> I'm trying to get through this shit. And he's being a douche. Let's keep going, this is good. Broken Arrow is accidental detonation of nuclear things or stealing or whatever the fuck. And for some reason, it's an organisation. <laughs> stealing? Stealing? <laughs> Well, whatever. It's it, Broken Arrow is a, Broken Arrow is like a company, <laughs> which company? it's like some kind of they uh, just sell broken arrows. It's an organization, apparently. They're shit arrows, but they're cheap. According <laughs> to the Brassman, is a former operative of Broken Arrow, which implies it's an organization. It's an organization, yeah. Which it shouldn't. But really. it's not in real life. Yeah. Oh god, my head. Stop. Lo have you like eaten some fish? Just carry on. Carry on. <laughs> Who controls the zombies and mob of the dead? Oh, not again. <laughs> <laughs> Just everyone should be expecting Ben's reaction now. Zombies, no one, there's apparently no one again. It's not the devil, as Ben always says, but it's undefined and no one cares. It doesn't it matter. matter. Does it matter? No. no. Ask, everyone just ask yourself does it matter? What, what you can say, though, for certain, is that no one was controlling them before Maxis entered the other. So, no. Okay. The end of Doris was the first time that they were controlled. That's it. Okay, then. And technically, they weren't even controlled. I mean, what are they doing differently from Nact? Still responding in exactly the same way. Unless his command is consistently kill humans. It's like telling a dog to stand up and walk away from you. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> This doesn't make sense because they're not doing anything. He's not actually controlling anything. It's a it's a mute point. It's a stupid question. Block whoever said that. Okay, I don't know who that was. It's probably you. But let's move on. Who was the demonic voice in Samuel's head in Die Rise? God, it's a common question and it has absolutely no answer, which is really an unfinished feature. I guess so because only Samuel can hear it and he only hears it in Die Rise and never in Buried or like. The uh, transit or anything. Next question. I so, thought it was just some sort of unhappy whale. Next question. It's either an unhappy whale on the map, <laughs> or it's the zombies talking to him while it's ricked off. And... Oh, wait, wait. Oh, it's the next question. <laughs> and so, pretty much, it's irrelevant, it's an unfinished feature, and it just was just like, let's have this in, and it wasn't. You're doing this on purpose. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> I'm defying you, my lord. Next question. What was the thing Samantha said was far more terrifying than her in the oh. What's a Majigam Majigam? So look for she's only bullshitting. Yeah, she's she's only, trying she's to doing, scare she's you. She's doing it for subs and views. She's just, she won't come through at the end. 
it's one of those things they put in simply to try and add a bit more story that they yep. might use at some point, but they're not going to for Oop. whatever reason. It shows a very much lack of dedication on that. There's lots of things in like World of War you can go back and look at, and it has absolutely no like relation to the story at all now. Oh. So. Well, apparently Boop's trying to make it work, but yeah. Well, well that was just in there for a very long time. Yeah. One quote, electric man in the sky, and it makes sense, but it cuts off right there, and that's it. It does, but even then it doesn't really make... Mm, not really, does it? It doesn't add anything to the story. It doesn't add anything to the story, no, but it's just a thing to explain the other fuck mm. So that's about it, that's all you can talk about. Um, da -da 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 -da. Are Gary and Brock from Shangri-La ever going to come relevant again? They died. They all died. Well, they're in Continuum. No. No. So they haven't died, Charlie, you liar. I think the question should be, when is Shangri-La? Because and I'm not going to answer it, because it's dodgy. But um, when it's, it's confusing. In time. As fuck. Remember, it doesn't matter when Shangri-La is, because it doesn't particularly pertain to the storyline, other than Rick Toppin's there to get the uh, uh, drill device. Other than that, it's not important. Um, but finding out what a lot of people think is in the 60s, which um, is... A fair assumption, but um, on Mars as well. Yeah, some people think it's on Mars. That's a really good one. Explains the <laughs> life. Brilliant. Yeah, um, and also it's just like Shangri-La is apparently the gateway into Agatha, which is obviously becoming a thing now. Oh, it's definitely a thing. It was always a thing. I don't see it lasting very often. I don't see it lasting like that long. It's just going to be like come and go. Just it's, Max has mentioned it. Probably the first map in the next game is probably going to be something like that, and then it's just going to be ending like that. Mm, I kind of think that's going to stick around. Do you know what's funny about Agatha? It's um, it's spelled wrong. I, no, no, no. Well, a lot of people say it wrong. It's he says it right in Shangri-La. It's like Agatha. So A G A R T H A, but a lot of people think it's A R G A T H A, which is not. Um, but it's uh, copyrighted. What? The idea of the concept of Agatha comes from a store. Um, a really, it's not from fucking. Um, oh, I have to find it and put it on the forum. But it's it comes from a book, and um, the the whole idea of Agatha, not the gateway to Agatha. That's nonsense. But um. The whole Hollow Earth ideal and Vridia and all that stuff comes from a single book, and I have to try and dig out which book it is. I can't remember off the top of my head, but that's interesting because when we were doing Zombies 3, I had to get it um, passed through a copyright agent to actually get the word Argatha. So I'm assuming Trey I'll have to do the same thing too. So that's, that's interesting, didn't that, huh? interesting bit of yeah, notes that no one cares about. Lovely <laughs> bit of trivia which no one really gives a shit about. The one no, thing, matter. the one main thing you input, and no one gives a shit. <laughs> Thank you. So, does, does anyone else have any questions which they found on the uh, comment section? I'm not fucking looking. Jesus. Fuck Charlie, that. I know that you looked at some. There was loads though. That you've like missed like loads of them. Well, a lot of them are things which I've already kind of answered. They're just like really shitty questions, like how old is Samantha? Yeah, but you think fucking Nuketown's in Texas? <laughs> no. I made, yes. well, I made a mistake in the video and I said Texas, even though I thought that Nevada Desert was in Texas or Las Vegas was in Texas or something. I was confused. Tell me where structure is. Tell me where, like, middle sex is. Sex. It's in between all the other sexes. Obviously. It's in the middle of all the sex. <laughs> it's, uh, big it's, the mid sex. <laughs> it's the big sex. Clearly. But I'm shit with geography of Americas and I'm pretty sure Americans are just like, you fucking what, mate? I got confused. Shush. It's better than your fucking input of Agatha's copyright. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, and the only people aren't going to believe that either. That's I actually what, can't believe that. Yeah, it is. It is genuinely. It's really good. Well, at least, at least it's uh, licensable, so you have to actually consult an agency to use the license. Well, you don't have to, but it's it's better that you do license it. There you go. So that's good. Oh, Chris, all of my have... theories and videos. What? No, you're right. No, YouTube's all right. Uh, <laughs> That's fun. I'm talking about selling something with like, I love Argatha on it or something. <laughs> <Just> a T-shirt. 